case you were wondering, I would like to confirm that I, Paul Nemitz, watch pornography. Yeah. Porn, adult film, smut, nasty, filth, I know. What a shocker. A man turns on by porn. You may double take my double click, but I've got to be real before you X out of my triple X poem and rush out to buy the newest antivirus software available. I like watching people do it. There, I said it. I masturbate to it. Yes, I just said masturbate on stage. I do it with my penis. Did he just say penis? I did. Penis. Come on, everybody, say it with me. No, really, I want you to say it. Ready? Penis. penis! Thank you! Why the fuck are we so afraid of a word so small? <laughs> yeah, well, small is a thing between our legs. I like to orgasm and talk about it, but more so the orgasm. Can everybody say that with me? Ready? Orgasm! No, we could do better than that. It's not like you're actually orgasming. Ready? Orgasm! Was it good for you? Great. Let's just get to the point. I, Paul Namit, watch pornography, and I... I'm ashamed of that, because the last five times that I visited Pornhub.com, I looked away from a side out of a man ripping off another man's underwear, shoving him into the wall of a shower stall, and penetrating without consent. I like to watch loving couples do it, but still, that ad pops up on my periphery, and yet I return, and I wonder how many more ads like this the site will feature, and if I am a tacit creature approving of this behavior with something as simple as visiting, I am a guest in an alleyway crime scene on a dust street computer screen, and I don't say a thing, because we don't talk about porn, much less sexual assault, so let me not tell you about the man who wouldn't take no for an answer from me three times, would not listen to how I didn't want it, left my room angry, but I couldn't take a lesson from a website. And sometimes, sometimes I shut down my computer because the sex scene hits too close to home, but disregarded no gone further than my experience, more extreme than any touch I've ever known, the forceful push, the sharp tooth sting of carpet and skin, burns like the tears that rain down your cheek when he called you tease, you should have known he would grab you, have you learned nothing, a no is just a yes that needs convincing, in fact, you get a hell of a lot more views that way, so click here to watch him scream, or here to see if she cries when she takes that big monster cock, it's fucked, how a video can generate millions of hits, and no conversations that hit the mark on the issue. Is it any wonder that we have assholes like Tosh.0 who thrive on making rape jokes, and yet survivors of sexual assault are still not taken seriously? We get off at the expense of others, and not talking about it is just one really ineffective way of jacking off. So talk to me. Please, let's talk penis, vagina, masturbations, fluge, queef, whatever shit is on your mind. And yes, I know, it's uncomfortable to talk about things like masturbation and porn and rape, and it may not solve any of the problems, but talking about it, just talking, is one hell of a good start. This is the shortest that the mic is going to be for the entire night. <laughs> Ow! I'm leaving it there. <laughs> I do what I can. <laughs> Tufted dandelion seeds caught in the summer breeze drifted down into a garden of rocks. From there sprouted the yellow mane, swaying across the shelter front, blooming into a banner, Community Day. Jalen. J-A-Y-L-O-N on your name tag that you asked me to help you put on with an orange slice shape of a smile, sunshine tinted teeth, 10 year old lion cup. Born from the panels of sidewalk with a legacy made of bullets, born from the edges of untrimmed lawns, you pressed rocks into my hands, told me you had a collection. The only things that grow amongst the rocks are the hardiest of lawn beasts, the dandelions, and your neighborhood roared with them, but you hurt. You ambled over to me, book in hand, Curious George's Legacy, reading colors and shapes, five word sentences, headlining each page, but I could see the words withering before they reached your tongue. Could see you trying to remember the sounds matching up to the squiggles, starting with the first letter, drifting into a mumble, and then a quick turn of the page. Weighing the remainder of the book in your hand, you laughed, and that was boring, and flipped it shut. 
Some number of days ago, someone else tried to teach you how to read. Whoever that was, where were they today? Today was our community day to build and celebrate one another and I watched you crumble 10 years old before a five word sentence. I knew that the banner would be rolled up and tossed into the dumpster by tomorrow, left to decompose in the landfill with all the other days. Your smile will fade into the back streets. Today is community day. Did not make me a community member. Tomorrow I will be in a different city, living a different life, and you'll still be here. Still running in place, still stumbling over words you can't taste through the page. Some number of days ago, I tried to teach you how to read. Where am I now, Jalen? Some nights I dream of you, faceless. One foot in the grave, one foot on the sidewalk, not sure how to move. Try not to trip on the cracks where the dandelions grow, but they lop around your ankles. You have to remember what you are. Outside of this neighborhood, no one wants to see spots of yellow on a lawn. Jalen sidewalks are for running on dandelions, or for exterminating rocks, or for throwing. So I tossed the ones you'd given me back into the parking lot. They were too big to take with me. Jalen, I hope you're well, but what does that even mean coming from me? Some nights, when I'm asleep, the dandelions drag you into the soil, tether you to the spot as the bullets pop, but some nights, you tear your roots out of the ground and start running. Mm. Little girl. Okay. <laughs>